Welcome to DNA Today. I'm Jan Bekowski. And I'm Dave Miklos. Welcome to Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, where we're discussing news about DNA. And today's news comes, in a way, from a very long time ago. It's uh, about a fossil, 68 million years old, a T-Rex, and the research could have come straight out of Jurassic Park. As you'll remember, Dave, in uh, Jurassic Park, they isolated DNA from, from fossil bones and, and cloned, uh, cloned dinosaurs. This isn't quite as exciting as that, but scientists have been able to isolate protein from these very, very old bones. And this work built on earlier work from several years ago when, using a microscope, scientists were able to figure out that some of these dinosaur bones, T-Rex bones, for example, preserve flexible features inside the bone, including perhaps blood, cells, blood vessels and even single cells. Uh, then the next step, which was accomplished recently, was to extract protein from these bones. And that protein that was extracted, in fact, was collagen. Yes, I mean, this was clearly an exceptional fossil, that this protein had been preserved for so many, uh, so many years. But even so, it was, uh, it was pretty degraded. That is, it, needed, it had been destroyed, partially destroyed. And it had to be analyzed with a technique called mass spectrometry. Uh, this enables you to determine what amino acids there are in small fragments of proteins and in, in small peptides. And the researchers did this, and then they compared the sequences of amino acids that they had found in the dinosaur collagen with the same sequences from living organisms. And that's where they found uh, something that was quite extraordinary. When they compared the amino acid sequence from the T. rex bone versus sequences in databases from living organism, they found that the closest match was a chicken. Right. But, but why was this such an un, 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 unexpected finding? Well, in a sense, it wasn't unexpected, for, because for the last several dec decades, most paleontologists have believed that, in fact, birds, such as chickens, are living relatives of dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Ironically, this thinking that birds might be evolutionarily related to dinosaurs cropped up in the mid-1900s. Thomas Huxley, Huxley proposed this shortly after Darwin published The Origin of Species. That idea was revived in the 1920s. It got a lot of support in the 1960s when analysis of theropod bones, of which T. rex is a member of that mm -hmm. group, revealed that there's a lot of anatomical similarities between birds and dinosaurs. Hmm. Now, this was protein. This so was protein. What so about DNA? What about DNA? Well, in fact, the uh, DNA has really only been isolated from fossils maybe 100,000 years right. old. Uh, so the chances of finding DNA in these very, very old fossils is, is pretty unlikely. But then, before this paper, people wouldn't think you could even get proteins from such old fossils. So maybe in the years to come, we will really be able to go to a Jurassic Park. Just have a strong fence. 